Okay, today we are going to take a look at my pick lah. One of my picks, and yeah, you went down to about quite a lot lah. Oh well, sometimes uh, bad stuff happen. I don't have to defend myself. I fucked up, right? So it's a small uh, position, okay? So what happened is, okay, is the outlook. I remember, I remember I told you all lah, okay? So GPC actually went down by about uh, ten dollars or twenty dollars. That is a lot, man, for GPC. Yeah. Oh, thirty dollars, twenty percent. Okay, and later I'm gonna tell you whether it's a buy or not. Okay, um, I don't have a lot of GPC lah. Okay, because I look at it, I saw the hey, it's the earnings are not very good lah. Oh, okay lah. So this is an opportunity lah for us to uh, learn on how to look at uh, corporate earnings. Let's do it together. Okay, we are not going to go anywhere. Okay. So yeah, this is content. Okay, this is content. So I'm doing this for content. So the first thing you got to look at, okay, which is very important, is the what? Anybody can explain? Is the outlook, right? Okay, the previous outlook is one to three percent. Now it's one to two. Sales growth three to four, which is good. Zero to two. Now this one a eh, came down a lot. Diluted earnings. What the f? Right, adjusted diluted earnings. Oh, this one is okay lah. I think this one is okay lah. But this one, oh. there must be something that is going on lah. I think this one. Later we take a look lah. Okay, later we take a look. Cash flow is about the same. Not much difference. The earnings is going to change. So we see that a. Eh? There's not much problems going on uh, with the cash, at least. Uh. Okay. So I think it's about the adjustment. Uh, I like to look at adjusted because there is a one time expense here. Okay. So whenever you see the thing adjusted, uh, there should be a one time expense. Take a look at the gap net income. Okay. They have some cost. Uh, so they add it back. This is a one time cost, one time cost, one time cost. Um, the tax impact they're gonna you know take show you so actually yeah uh, uh, it did fall you know even after you adjust it okay so we're gonna take a look at the uh, the whole thing like, and then we see and uh, how we take a look at the statements uh. right so eight dollar fifty five cents six sixty to six so yes so what is bad about this um mm. The di I, I, I like to look at the adjusted. Uh. I'm not going to look at this. Uh, okay, because those are one-time expenses. I don't like to look at one-time expenses. I usually um, add them back or one-time gains. Uh, I usually minus them off. So it's $8.10. Okay. Um, what is the problem? We take a look at it later together. Okay. And then we see what happened. So we can see this the year-on-year -year comparison. Right. Uh, gross profit actually went up. But selling admin and other expenses actually went up a lot. So 1876 lah. Okay. So part of it inside here must be the Yeah, I think I also think uh, there is some sort of uh, there's a massive increase in the expenses. Uh. I think um inflation also can they also can the inflation. Uh. Right? Because if you take a look uh, the uh, oh restructuring costs and acquisition cost is about 200,000 for the nine months. 200,000, you gotta add it back, you know. So you, you minus 200,000, 4744, yeah, okay lah. I would say that um, 4744, it went up a bit lah, I would say. Okay. Oh, the restructuring cost is already here. Oh my god. That means the selling and admin expenses is already going up a lot. Oh, this is bad. Nah. So this 200,000 is going to take off 200,000 off the net income. Right. So if this thing, they never go up that much, ah, then they could have saved some money. Nah. So I think this one is a bit more to the cost side. Nah. Oh. The selling admin and other expense. Okay. Yeah, so this one is, I think... Um, 
this is the major problem la, that I'm looking at. I'm looking at this as a major problem. Whether they can solve it or not, I don't know. But if they can solve it, that will account for a lot of money. La. That is 300 million, you know, for the nine months. So why I look at the nine months, la, not the three months? La. Because uh, it's a longer term period, it's easier for me to look at. Yeah, the nine months period, this is a very big, uh, yeah, lesser income tax. 771 tower. Ah, is this good or bad? On one side, you got lesser income tax. On one side, you increase your expenses a lot, man. This is an increase of expense by 300 million. That is bad, man. 300 million. But you reduce your tax by about 90 million. Uh, so 200 plus. Your gross profit barely increase. La. You never go up by 300. Your gross profit only go up by what? 200. But your expenses go up by 300. Automotive, industrial. This guy makes spare parts for automotive and industrial. Uh. One thing I like about this, uh, this guy, uh, is that his current assets uh, can cover the current liabilities uh, last time, right? The current assets cover the current liabilities and also co cover part of the long term debt. Okay, so now is not so now you can cover a bit only. <laughs> you don't cover a lot. You see, got two billion. Okay, but I think there is not much of a problem lah for that that two billion debt. They can take it lah. Okay, and they can pay it back in four years or five years lah. So I think this is a worsening uh, balance sheet. Okay, when I look at it, I think I see things uh, this worsening. Um, adjusted net income is two hundred sixty-three. So if we look at the thing, uh, and we were going to give it the uh, the diluted earnings per share, adjusted diluted earnings per share now is about eight dollars. Okay, we will take eight dollars. We want to be conservative. Okay, so for these kind of companies, uh, uh, the debt is still manageable and all. Okay, usually we will give it a. Now the problem is the forecast. Uh, is this forecast to grow? So eight, I think. I would give it a fifteen lah, PE. Okay, so I think I value this guy hundred twenty lah. Okay, because the debt is not so bad lah. If the debt is like a uh, like very very bad, uh, then I won't give it. Let's take a look at the balance sheet uh, and take a look at the debt. So current assets is about ten point seven. Definitely covers this one. He has some extra, so there's about one point six extra. One point six, uh, three point eight minus one point six is about two point two left. Two point two. Free cash flow is about. 600 2.2 divided by 600 uh, 2200 divided by 600 is about 3.6 is still below uh, 6 which is a bit which is healthy for me lah. very healthy actually for the balance sheet but one thing to note uh, is declining why did it decline you better check uh, acquisition uh, of a business so they bought something okay uh, one thing about spare parts, uh, you actually earn a lot of money from spare parts, man. I tell you all. Yes, because I have a lot of uh, heavy. My my family has a lot of heavy machinery, right? We have a lot, and we always buy the spare parts, uh. And those spare parts that you can. The alternative spare parts is actually much cheaper than the original spare parts and they still make money. Okay. So 
so hundred twenty dollars the price now is hundred and fourteen is this a buy or not well let's take let's do the graphs this could be a quite interesting purchase quite interesting okay um you all see uh, what do you see what pattern is this Head and shoulders right rising head and shoulders huh? okay okay so this one is the head this is the shoulders these are the two shoulders now you went down to 120 the head and shoulders actually predicted the drop okay but where will it drop until that one i don't know Okay, this is the neckline. I call this a rising head and shoulders. Lah. This is the neckline. The first neckline can be until here. Okay. So it breached down this one. Lah. Wow. So if it breached down this one, then uh, nobody knows where it's going to go, I think. 113. Wow, 113 is here. Breach level. That means can go down here. Lah. 105 yeah i won't buy this unless it's about 100 dollars uh. that's me lo. right so what i see is i see quite a strong support here la. Oh. this region i see quite a strong support i think this one is a buy late it's a buy la. i think um i i believe it's a buy la. You still need uh, car spare parts and those kind of things and um, industrial spare parts. So it's about yeah. I think I think it's gonna drop until one hundred and six, and this is where I wanna start my buys now. So one two. Yep, around there. Lah. Those three regions is where I'm going to start my buys. Okay. It's not a coincidence that it stopped there. Lah, this one. Right. There is something. There is this. There is this thing here. Uh, the neckline is already breached. I think there's a high possibility it's going to come down somewhere here. I think. If we can come up with a very good uh, estimate, uh, forecast for 2025, uh, I think it won't be so bad. Uh. Okay. I, I, I want to see the 2025 outlook. Uh, okay. So you notice I'm not really interested in the <laughs> financial statement that has already passed. Uh. Uh, I prefer the outlook. Uh. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you very much.